Hey brothers and sisters, please hear these words that I'm speaking, not just with your eyes and with your ears. I want you to listen with your heart. Yahweh loves you so much and he's called us to be set apart. So please hear me now. Words can hurt worse than sticks break bones and they can take your life quicker than unpaid loans. I hear moans and groans from these addicts that jones. Hey parents, listen up. Stop playing on your phones. Wake up while you can before it's too late. Because when the dam breaks, the levee breaks, it's too late. We create our own fate. Face the facts, no debate. This is fact, not fiction. We're serving our own plate. And the joke's on us if we make the choice to wait. But this ain't no laughing matter, I'm giving it to you straight. Because at the rate we're going, we won't make it to the gate. Let alone get in with our unclean slate. But wait, we can generate a faith that's great. If we put our faith in the Christ before it's too late. So right now, right where you're at, just call him his name, surrender it all, and you'll never be the same. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in his name. There's power in his blood. I just want to say a prayer over you today. In this beautiful day the Lord has made, deliverance prayer for whatever bondage you may be in. Anything that has us bound by Satan, anything that has us bound by, by self, God has called us to be set apart unto Him, to be obedient to Him, to His law, to His Christ, our King. So Father, we just ask for deliverance, all the minds that would view this video, any struggles, any things we're having trouble laying aside and putting down for your name's sake, anything that has us bound in unfruitful works, any war on the mind, any area of our mind that has not been given over to submission to you and subjected to the will of Christ, we just come against it now and we ask for your delivering power to set us free, to set us free from any unfruitful works, Lord, whether it be of deed, of our thoughts, of our words, of our dealings with our family, our friends, church members, acquaintances. Lord, help us to love effectively. We need to be free from the things that have us bound to be able to love effectively, Father. We, so we just pray right now, Lord, that you break the chains. You break the chains of selfishness. That you break the chains of laziness. That you break the chains of overeating or unhealthy eating. Lord, that you break the chains of uh, a wicked tongue or a wicked imagination or vain daydreaming. Lord, of, of any bondage that has any brother or sister bound just ask you to break those chains all who look to you to love you and to love your word to obey you all that do it with a sincere heart any person receiving this message Lord let our hearts be pure and receiving this prayer to be loosed from the, any bonds that have us bound by Satan we thank you so much Father Lord for everything that you've brought us through, everything that you've helped us to overcome, everything that you've, where you've brought us from, Lord, from a debased mind for some of us to a restored mind, a renewed mind, being shaped into your image, your likeness, oh, Father, we, Abba, we just, we, we desire you, Lord, we desire to walk as Christ walked, so Father, help us to do that this day, help us to lay all aside walk by your spirit as we handle all our responsibilities and our obligations Lord, give us proper balance to all of our comings and goings all of our plans let them all be before you and guided by you let us walk by your spirit and be embraced by your spirit let us walk in the newness of life not by power and not by might but by your spirit God help us to be obedient in every area of our life Lord, help us day by day to be renewed and refreshed by your tender mercies. For you are merciful. Lord, help us to progress every day more and more into your image, more and more into the love for you and obedience to you and our love and affection and 
and our expression of love for our neighbors, for our family, for our friends. As for us in our house, let us worship you, Yahweh. Let us worship you, Yeshua. Jesus, we need you. We need you, Lord. And it's in Yeshua's mighty name we pray. Amen. And brothers and sisters, just on my way to work, and I wanted to share this little message. It was on my heart to share with you. I pray that it's blessed you. And um, I'm just headed to a job. Restoring a garage and painting and doing the epoxy on the garage floors. And um, just so blessed, so thankful to have work, thankful to be able to be self employed, and thankful to be able to um, see the importance to take time for, for my neighbors, trying to seek balance with uh, my love for God and my spiritual growth, my love for my wife, and communication with her taking the proper time with her and, um, and also those who God has blessed me with in my life, the friends that I have. It's just, you know, it's a daily bout. We need to try to find proper balance. So I'm, I've been crying out to him for some time to, to have proper balance and for the anxieties to be relieved. And he's really doing it. He's really brought me such, such a long ways. And brothers and sisters, this uh, message has blessed you in any way. Please share it with somebody. Be a light. Be the light of the world. Jesus calls us to be the light of the world. Sitting on, on a hill cannot be hid. Encourage the brethren. Reproof. Edify. Love. Encourage. Whatever is lovely, whatever is true, whatever is good report, of any virtue, any good thing. Any uplifting thing, any good message, any good words of encouragement, meditate upon these things and share them with your brothers and sisters the same. Let us be a good witness. Let us be the light. Love you guys.